before there was Super Saiyan 4, before there was Super Saiyan God, before there was Super Saiyan Blue, heck, even before there was UI, there was one form that stood out amongst all of them, and that was Super Saiyan 3. Now you read the title right, Super Saiyan 3 was absolutely legendary. Super Saiyan 3 was the end all be all of forms in Dragon Ball Z. If you didn't have Super Saiyan 3, the next best thing was the fusion dance or Gohan's mystic form. The thing about Super Saiyan 3 that made it so iconic and so legendary and so out of this world to believe was that there was only two people that had it. One of them was a warrior who trained for his entire life. Somebody who trained in the afterlife while he was dead to push himself beyond those limits and break through the barrier. That was Son Goku. And he pulled off that form and it was just the most amazing thing we had seen at the time. I remember the first time that I ever saw Super Saiyan 3 was back when I first played Budokai 3. And just seeing Goku stand up tall with his hair going down past his knees and just the look of confidence on his face just made it seem like, man, I'm the most badass character in this video game. And then when you first see him transform for the first time, Goku is literally causing storms and tidal waves and ripping the earth apart, shattering cities, blowing wind past every, the powers fell from King Kai's planet to earth and beyond. And it was just insane the amount of power that Goku put out to reach that form. And back then there was a theory going around that Super Saiyan 3 was the form that tapped into the Great Ape's power. And this was due to the scene where you see in Goku's eyes, the great ape roaring as he goes from great ape to boy and screams beyond to break that barrier. And then later on when we saw the transformation, it came in the form of a film, Fusion Reborn. Goku literally shook heaven and hell, transforming into this state, warping reality. And this might be my favorite transformation of Super Saiyan 3. When he did it on Earth, it was insane. It was something to truly behold, but when he did it, shattering realms and reality. It was just beautiful. It lets you know the impact and the power that this form truly had. You should be proud of yourself. Only Majin Buu has pushed me this far in battle before. And you knew Goku was serious because once he busted out this form, Vegeta even said this. <laughs> so Kakarot's finally in the mood, is he? This ought to be one to remember. And the next time we see him do this is when he fights against Harutagarn. And Goku, at the very end of the film, pulls out the dragon fist and finishes it. One, two, three. The next person that we saw use this form had to be a fusion of two prodigy children Saiyans. And even when they used it, they were able to shatter a hole in a separate dimension to come back to Earth. Super Saiyan 3 was the most insane form we had seen at the time. It was the end all be all of all transformations in Dragon Ball. Goku only went to this form when he was super serious and ready to put his foe down in a matter of seconds. It's a shame that it went out the way it did. But Super Saiyan 3, you will always be remembered because at one time, you were legendary. I'm sorry that took so much longer than the others. But I haven't had much occasion to practice this one. This is what I call a Super Saiyan 3. Make sure you guys leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share, share, share that video because we're on that road to 10,000 subscribers. So guys, that's all I got.